Hey pals, here is Desh Agrawal and in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to generate a furry object for your interior scene. Means I'm gonna show you the use of this V-Ray fur. So first of all we need to set a render setup. Click on render setup. Right click assign renderer. In production select V-Ray ADV. Okay. See. So comes over here. Click on V-Ray Frame Buffer. By default, each and everything is closed. So, close it down. In V-Ray Global Switches, by default, each settings are fine. Close it down. In V-Ray Image Sampler, we need to change a little bit. In Type, select Fixed. In Anti-Aliasing Filter, Area is fine. Close it down. In Fixed Image Sampler, it's fine. Close it down. In Environment, we don't want anything. In Color Mapping, change the type from linear multiply to exponential close it down very camera there is no camera in our scene so close it down in indirect illumination check on in secondary bounces change it to light catch in irradiance map change the current presets to custom make it 20 and repulative samples as fine maximum rate minus 3 Show calculated phase check on. Now comes in V-Ray light catch. Subdivisions make it 100. Show calculated phase check. Now comes on settings. V-Ray systems. Phase level coefficient make it 2.0. In default geometry, it's auto selected to static. Now close your render setup. So, first of all, in create geometry, select V ray so that from V ray plane you can make a ground. So, check if you want to change the color, you can change it to blue or any color you want. Now, in standard primitives, take a plane. Select the object over your grid. If you want to change the color, you can change the color to white. Okay. Now, from geometry, select V-Ray. Click on V-Ray fur. See, the fur are here. If you want to change the color of fur, from here you can. I want... base yellow color not this color okay now check it render we won't be able to see anything just because we don't have any lights in our scene so click on lights select V-Ray take V-Ray light from the top of your viewport drag a light like this now move it up put it over here now comes on perspective and check a render See, these are your first. Wow. But it's too long as compared to doormat. So, decrease. we need to decrease the length of our hair. I mean fur. To select your fur, go to modifier. And decrease the length of your fur. Fine. Test your render. It's decreasing. Fine. You need to decrease it more. You can. Uh, okay, we'll select 4.5. Check render. So this much of height is fine, but it's too thick. We need to decrease the thickness. So in thickness, make it 0 0.1. Check a render. Fine. Thickness is also less. Now, if it's too straight, our hairs are too straight. So increase the gravity so that. You can make it down. See it's bending. So first of all we need to increase our hairs. In modify, change the distribution parameter. Increase your per area. Make it 3.5. Test a render. Wow, it's increased. 
we need to bend it more because the hairs are a little bit stressed so in gravity just uh, increase decrease your gravity shift u check it under ah pretty cool so i need to increase some more distribution of hairs so in distribution select your per area and make it 4.5 enter close it i want a close up check render good you got your door mat assume it as your door mat and if i take an hd render common output size select hd video select a render Oh, fantastic! I got a nice V-ray for output. So I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. We'll wait for just thirty seconds so that render got complete. Okay, this is taking a lot more time, so I'll cancel it and I'll change my output size to custom. 640 by 480 check render you got a nice output for v refer i hope you all enjoyed this tutorial thank you